the greyhounded hare is a really fun warner brothers cartoon now i don't care about dog races it's not something i have any actual interest in but despite that being the subject of this, I had a lot of fun with it. It's a 1949 cartoon directed by Robert McKimson with a story by Warren Foster. And of course, we have Mel Blanc as Bugs Bunny. And Bugs Bunny accidentally finds himself at the dog races, at the racetrack. And he explores the dogs first of all, examines them, kind of passes some commentary on each of them, which is quite cute to see the dogs. And then he notices the rabbit, the mechanical bunny that's on the dog track fence i don't have the vocabulary to talk about it but you know what i mean and bugs doesn't necessarily realize that this is not a real rabbit and when the dogs start ch chasing it he's mortified um and cannot believe what is happening so he decides to chase after this mechanical bunny now obviously this bunny is exceptionally fast so it takes bugs a long time to get momentum going and as he chases after this bunny, he passes more commentary on the dogs. We see the dogs speeding along and Bugs is shouting words to this rabbit saying, don't worry, I'll save you, that kind of thing. And it's unclear what's going to happen. And I think that made me really interested because I had no idea what would happen if Bugs caught up with this rabbit, if he would be able to, how the dogs would react. The dogs don't seem too bothered by Bugs. They're more interested in this much quicker mechanical bunny, which says more about the dogs than anything else. And I really didn't know what was going to happen, and I had a lot of fun with it. I like the fact that Bugs is not actually the most intelligent one there. Well, maybe he is the most intelligent character there, but usually he's quite smart and quick-witted and quick to outwit his, his, his opponents, his opponents here, I guess, being the race dogs. But actually here, because he's not quite realised what's going on, doesn't quite understand the concept of the dog race track, he's not actually his usual rather intelligent self. And that's a really different dynamic for the episode to have. And I think it works very well. And I really enjoyed it. It's very well animated. I felt like Bugs had bigger cheeks than usual. I'm not sure if that's the case or if it's just an observation I had for some reason. But his cheeks looked much puffier. Not bad, just different. I like the way the dogs were animated, I like the pacing of it, both the pacing of the narrative and of the dogs running. I thought it was very effective. A lot of sound effects of barking dogs was very atmospheric. It's pretty brilliant. If you'd said to me, here's an animation about a dog racetrack, maybe I wouldn't have been too hopeful. But actually, I really enjoyed The Greyhounded Hare. And if you're a fan of Warner Brothers or of Bugs and you haven't seen it, definitely give it a go.